friends, it's time to gather around your queen of celeb news, myself, Unomalaga, the flame. I hope your cups are empty because a kettle of the sweetest tea is boiling and I'm ready to serve you some of that good good. <laughs> We're gonna need to add a little bit of honey in our tea, honeys, because this month is proving to be a little bitter, hey? So babe Zotumo and her boyfriend slash business partner Mampinja's case is lighting everything in its path like wildfire. The whole week felt like a horror story happening right in our backyards. After Mampinja laid a counter assault case against bomb queen babes, guess what? It looks like another common assault charge has been filed against babes by an unknown woman who says that on Monday evening she attended an event and was attacked by four women, three of which were known to her. Can things please just get all that? Cameroonian footballer Samuel Eto'o has been slapped literally with a paternity lawsuit by a former girlfriend, Adelusa do Rosario. Samuel, who has six children from four different women, dated Adelusa during his time in Real Madrid and got her pregnant, but he allegedly dodged his paternal duties. Now he's being summoned by the courts to appear in person for not taking care of his 19-year-old daughter. And all I can say is the messy and the slappy continue. <laughs> Somehow, American singer R. Kelly thought it would be a brilliant idea to do an interview at a time where he's facing sexual assault charges from multiple directions. You know, the man conspicuously cried in front of the steadfast Gail King and the interwebs lost it. I mean, but if we're keeping it a buck, R. Kelly probably could have been a decent actor had he pursued it because, I mean, the conviction it thing was... This is not me, y'all. I'm fighting for my life. You're killing me, man! This is not about music! I'm trying to have a relationship with my kids! Dun, 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 dun. And the Oscar award goes to the panicking Piper Al Kelly for his performance, but Twitter was set ablaze when he stood up and started freaking out on camera. I mean, he's got some nerve acting like that in front of Gail. I mean, where are your manners, sir? Like, that's so weird. But anyway, Gail King was unflappable to the unhinged Robert. I guess it kind of helps to have Oprah and Ian Lai's BFFs. Also, apparently the two girls he's been accused of holding against their will were apparently sold to him. What is going on, guys? Like, I guess. <laughs> Today's Friday Flame goes to the beautiful member of the crazy Kardashian and Jenner family, Kylie, who's recently announced as the youngest billionaire at 21 years old. All I can say is, yes, honey, fill up your bags, darling, and get right back to the lip kit business. Mwah. Caitlin's daughter is a lip kit entrepreneur and reality star, and she's been killing the game. She can also just, you know, at this point, take over the reins from Kim Kardashian, but only if Kim allows her. To my little friend. Catch the hilarious Black Knight movie this Saturday at 8 p.m. only on Channel 129. And voila, your weekend is set. Otherwise, I'll be in Durban today at Ralph Gum's album launch happening at Mojo's Car Wash in Shisanyama. So if you don't want to miss out on the best tunes by Monique Bingham, Sir LSG, and your MCs, myself, no matter the flame and Zola Z loving from Gaga CFM, make sure you're there. Gata gata, it's all about Throaters openness. Anyway, details are available on the beat. Africa Instagram. For now, darlings, thank you very much for tuning in to the only entertaining gossip show in Africa with myself, Unomalaga the Flame. Let's meet next week, Monday, right here on BET Africa Channel 129. Same time, same place. I'm not going to leave without giving you all of this glory. Ha! Have a beautiful weekend. Bye, honey.